Hello everybody and welcome to episode 6 of our tile map tutorial. In the last episode we went over setting terrains and in this episode we're going to go over the cycles of the plant so that it automatically changes each cycle. Alrighty and guys this is actually going to be our last episode. The series was supposed to go in depth on the tile map more so I will continue this project and we'll do other things but for now this will be the last tile map um, episode. But stay tuned in the future I'll get back to this project and we will implement it further. So alrighty guys so like I said we're gonna be um, handling the seeds so that they grow on their own. I'm just gonna delete this ready function we're not using it. And let's just create a function handle seed. And it's going to take some parameters. It'll take the tile map position. It'll take a level and we'll explain what that means later. It will take the atlas chords. And it'll take the final seed level. Alrighty. So um, basically what we want to do, we're going to use timer and await um, keywords. And we're going to basically, if you look at the atlas coordinates, these uh, four tiles, they have all the same values except for the atlas coordinates. And the atlas coordinates are incrementing by one on the X axis. So um, atlas 11, one, then 12, one. 13 one and so on so we're going to take advantage of that and in the beginning of this function we are going to steal this set cell data remember this is if farming mode state is seeds so we're just going to take that out Control x to cut paste it here the environment layer will always stay the same because that's where the seeds should go but we'll put that there um, and we will declare the source ID. That's good. And now we will um, call that function there. You need to change the source ID. Um, also the level, which I will go over. It's gonna be an int and we're gonna make it zero. And then the final seed level, We'll go over in a jiffy, but it's zero, one, two, three, so three. And I'll explain what that means. Alrighty, so the atlas coordinate is good. It is the seed. Perfect. Alrighty, so when we start this function, we're going to place the seed. We're going to create a timer. And this timer is going to be how long it takes for the seed to get to this state and so on and so forth. So we can do this await get tree and you can look further into this function see what it does returns a scene tree that contains this node so we're getting access to this scene tree and this is um inherits from object okay and from the scene tree we are going to create timer and the time that you put here look it says it wants a float so not an integer we're going to put five seconds just so we can test it out but you need to think how long you want it to take for it to get from here to here and then we're gonna uh, get access to that timer's event, the timeout. So when the timer, the five seconds are up, it releases a signal and it is this timeout uh, event. And if we come here and we go to the timer, create a timer node, and we go to the, you, you'll see the inspector. If you go to the node and you see the signals, you'll see this um, timeout signal emitted when the timer reaches zero. So we could delete that because we're not getting it through there. Okay, so basically what this does, it's creating a timer and this is awaiting for this um, time to run to zero. So after five seconds, it'll go to the next line. And then what we wanted to do is we want to say if the level is equal to the final seed level, we want to return. So when we plant the seed for the first time, we're going to be on level zero. And so when we plant it for the first time, it's not going to be on the final level because the final level will be three. So it's going to skip this when we have the seed else we're going to get, we're going to create a variable new atlas because this atlas coordinate is for the seed and we want a new one and it'll be a vector two I and we're going to create a vector two I 
and we're going to use this x from this atlas coordinate and we're going to add one to that because remember um, the difference between this and this one is that the x is incremented by one it goes from 11 to 12. so we're going to add one and then we're going to use the same y so i'll copy that and we'll use the exact same y and now we're going to set the cell but we're using our new atlas and that's pretty much it and after we set this cell we're actually going to call this function and for those of you who are new to programming it might be weird to call a function when you're inside that function it's a recursive function you can look further into it but we're gonna use this that, that's why we're taking advantage of this and what we're gonna do here is we're gonna increment the level by one so we start off on zero and by the time we call this function again it will be one and then this uh, plant will go through this process again. It wouldn't be on the final level still because this is still three. And it will be two, will be here, and then it will be three. And then it will, when we get to three and we have, we have set this tile, it's not going to go again here. It's just going to return and move on. So let's see if that works. Run the script. Um, press R to get to our seats, place it, and wait. And after five seconds, it should grow. Are we calling it? Okay, we did not um, set our new, we did not put our new atlas coordinate in here. We only put it in there. And now it should work. So press R again, and it should work there we go <laughs> and if you want now so let's just make sure that it goes to the final stage perfect and it finishes and that there's no errors um let's deal with these warnings so this one doesn't like that we're not using the event if you don't use a parameter you could just do that and it should get rid of that warning it says we're not using source id okay so we can get rid of that function and clear so that there's no warnings and that's great so alrighty guys i hope everything was clear i hope you enjoyed this series so i really love making these tutorials i was posting them every other day so that the people who are following along can get their projects built um and that kind of takes away the time uh from making my devlogs so i'm not gonna do these tutorials as frequently but i do want to expand on this project as i said before so you could definitely stay tuned for that but in the meantime i hope you enjoyed this series um leave comments if you have any questions thank you guys for all the support i really appreciate it i hope you have an amazing day and i'll catch you next time bye if you enjoyed this video consider joining the patreon where i release demo and source code for the projects behind the scenes and get early access and your name in the godot book i'm working on i also stream game development on twitch thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you next time